Well, headed in tonight, do a little bit more velvet scouting. We're on a new piece here. This is the part of the river unit. We're just down a little bit farther. So we've done some recent scouting in here. That's where we found that really good buck bedding, but it's farther down the river here a good ways. So we're actually going into a spot that Chance sat in the late season and saw two really nice bucks in here. Then I came back and hunted with him here during the late season and just kind of couldn't make it happen. We always had a bunch of does coming out into the field. Chance saw those two really nice bucks in there too. So we're just going to do a little velvet scouting over this field tonight. I think it's soybeans and a whole bunch of different stuff and kind of monitor these bedding areas that are around this food source. Made it in here to this bean field down in here. Got my tree saddle all set up. There was a doe down in this bottom already when I came in. She was clear on the other end, so I just tried to sneak across her real quick. It's a good time to be seeing deer out here already. The last spot we went to yesterday didn't have very many deer in it. Chance saw a doe and a buck, and I saw one doe, so we'll see what happens down here. Seems like there's a lot more deer movement down here on this part of the river unit, so let's so here and see what happens. Like I said earlier, this spot right down in here is where Chance saw that really big buck late season and saw another nice 4x4 or 5x5. Five five. So, big bucks down in here, hoping to see some in velvet tonight. Got a small buck out here already. Well, I've had a few deer out in this field already and a couple turkeys out here, but not too much yet. But we still got quite a bit. Good sign that there's already some deer out here and a buck out here. Not a very big one, but there's a buck out here. So hopefully the big boys step out a little bit later. But kind of like Chance mentioned uh, yesterday when we are out velvet scouting, we kind of use these as observation sets. And if we don't see what we think we should see based on the sign that we saw in the area, when we scouted it, we're gonna move on. So based off what we scouted on, right on the other side of the river this winter, we expected to see a lot more deer out in that field, even if it was just does, we expected to see a lot more deer out there. And because of that, we're probably not gonna go back there for a while. It doesn't mean we're gonna ride it off, but it's probably gonna be later in the year that we go back there. And when we go back there, we're probably gonna do an observation sit again and see if there's deer coming out to those fields. And if there is, then we'll work back into those bedding areas. So that's kind of how we approach that spot. So if you're hunting a similar spot, you go out, uh, velvet scout over a big bean field, you don't see deer that you expect to see there based on the scouting and trail cameras that you have. You may have to wait and come back a little bit later, do an observation sit later in the year, and then make your move from there. And this is why we're doing these vlog style videos, these real quick videos every single time we go out so that you guys can follow along with our thought process and know what we're thinking. If we don't show you this stuff, you guys don't understand why we're making the moves that we are. So that's the reason for these new vlog style videos. Hopefully you guys can follow along, apply some of the things you see us doing to your hunts this fall and have some success. So we got quite a bit of time here. I'm just gonna sit here and hopefully wait for some big velvet bucks to step out. So there's a couple deer down on that end of the food plot. Nothing's come out down here yet. So keep my eyes peeled and look for some bucks.
sometimes it's just the little things that you gain from your velvet scouting and observation sits. So not every time are you like, yes, that's the spot I need to go to now or see a big buck. But sometimes it's just the little things. And one of those things that I'm gaining tonight is understanding where these deer are bedding during the early season. And last year, during the late season, they were all coming off a private right over here. There's some different cover back there and they were coming out of there. Right now, they've come out from down here in the corner at the other end of this field, but most of them have come out from this hillside straight in front of me. So that's different than what they were doing during the late season. So had we not come in here, did a velvet scout today, we might've come in uh, first part of the season, snuck around that uh, hillside to come in and hang on that side. And if we'd have done that, we'd have busted all those deer that were bedded over there. But because I came in here now, small thing, but I came in here now, did some velvet scouting, I know all the deer are bedded on that hillside. It's a good idea to sneak through here and set up on this side instead of walking through that hillside. So sometimes it's just the small things that you can gain uh, from observation sets. Not always, you know, big obvious things. So we've had a few more deer come out. There's been about five or six more does come out into this field. Uh, no bucks yet, but we probably got about an hour left. They're starting to fill into this field a little bit more. So hopefully I'm crossing my fingers that we'll get some uh, velvet bucks on camera here, or at least a few more. That's going to wrap up this vlog. Still have that little spike buck and a doe out here. Probably got about 15 to 20 minutes left, so I'll let you know. And we'll show you if any big boys show up. But I give her one more shot. Or bounce around to several other spots, see what we can't see there. But good night, nice night, pretty cool out. So a couple more spots left to hit in our velvet scouting. And then the season will be here before you know it. But thanks for watching, guys. As always, hit that subscribe button down below and like this video. Thanks for watching.